Hello everybody, and I salam alaikum. In today's video, I drew a redraw of an old drawing I did when I believe it was 2016. Um, initially that wasn't what I had planned to do for this video. I had planned to draw myself, but like, not necessarily full body, but more of a body shot than normal. But, I wasn't liking how I was coming out because the selfie was taken at a weird angle and that's due to my short arms um so I didn't end up doing that what I didn't like I said I ended up just redrawing an old drawing that I did in 2015 16 You know, just to see how much I'd improved from, you know, all those years ago. Uh, I wouldn't say I improved a lot, honestly speaking, but that's just how I feel about it. I may just be being hard on myself. I didn't necessarily even like this drawing, if I'm being real. I kind of thought it was very ugly. I still kind of think it's <laughs> I still really think that this drawing is ugly up until today, but, you know, it's fine. It's not hideous, but I don't think it's pretty, <laughs> and that's due to my own inability to get past, like, my own drawing, you know? Drawing the face was hilarious. I quite enjoyed drawing this face. I kept getting to these points where the halfway points in the drawing were kind of the right, it's kind of ugly. Kept getting to those points and I kept laughing because I thought it was so ugly. I really did. Just the fact that I drew it makes it ugly to me anyways. <laughs> but I think once I got to the line art stage, I started to feel better about the drawing, but then once I started getting like full on into the color, I, I was still feeling like it was really ugly, you know? But the, like I said, that's just, that's just how I felt about it. The mouth was an issue. Oof, this mouth was an issue. I like to draw teeth. But then, every time I drew the teeth, it looked like she was going. <laughs> and it kept making me laugh. It was just like, this, this looks so stupid. But then I would look at the teeth again, and it was just like. <laughs> but at this point, I was starting to like the drawing a little bit more. You know. <laughs> but I did end up getting rid of the teeth anyway. I ended up getting rid of the teeth, and I ended up fixing the nose because the nose was looking a little funky and I didn't know exactly why that was. I, I feel like like when I'm drawing digitally, the placement of the features of the face are always just slightly off, which is weird to say because digital art is so precise you can just change it around, but I feel like my perception of my drawings are always really skewed because I don't, I don't have a desk. I draw in my bed, and so I draw at kind of weird angles all the time. And I think that's what happened with this. I think my, my view of the screen was just really skewed. And then I don't always hold my tablet the proper way either. So that. <laughs> oh my god. I had a lot. I had a lot of fun with the little sketch. I'm not gonna lie to you. I kept taking the mouth and moving it in such odd directions. I love that about digital drawing, where, see, it just took like a big skip, because I went and I fixed the mouth off camera, and then I drew in the hair, which I attempted to do a fade, which I've done fades before, but it's been a while since I've done a fade, and so I don't think this fade came out as good as my previous attempts. Most of my fades were done with men, and this time I did it on a woman, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, probably not, but it was just a kind of difficult to get the fade done with me. Um, but you know, I popped through. Eyelashes. Eyelashes. 
is always my favorite part of the life. I, I love doing eyelashes. Especially the bottom lash, because I didn't always do bottom lashes, but now I just, I really, really love doing bottom lashes. And so that, I, I do that on all my drawings now. And I get that from um, the Castlevania anime on Netflix. I love how they draw eyes in the anime, and it wasn't until I watched that anime that I decided to start doing that in my own art because I've always wanted to do eyelashes but I was just like it's gonna look stupid but then I saw it on there and I was like this looks great so I did it here's a tip for eyebrows if you do end up using drawing your eyebrows in as individual strokes do really tiny strokes to fill in the gaps around the bottom edge because that's how eyebrows actually look in real life there are little tiny hairs around the bottom edge of an eyebrow that makes up the eyebrow and actually makes it look nice and full, you know? Um, I don't think I have too much to say about the Ryan art at this point, because it's pretty self-explanatory. It's, I'm just lining it. There's it's not, not too much else to say about it. Uh, I don't think, I think I'll like probably explain it video, especially how I do line art on afro and curly textured hair, because I don't do it all in one layer. Just because of the way that I draw it, I leave gaps and spaces a lot of the times in between the lines, because it just, it, to me, it looks better that way. As you can see, like, right there, like, there's a lot of gaps and spaces, a lot of dashes, a lot of those squiggly S lines, and I leave gaps and spaces in between the hairs it just it looks better to me that way so i'll probably explain that in another video and not this one because it's just trying to explain how i do the line art while the video is going it's it's gonna be going too fast i would have to slow it down a whole lot so i'll talk to you guys more in the coloring stage
Hello everybody, I'm back again. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I struggled with the coloring or painting. I don't know what to actually say. Um, on this drawing and specifically on the nose. And that's because like when I started painting it, I was painting it in a way that was making the nose look like a button nose and I was just like I get that that's what most people go for it's like a button nose type style but that's not what I wanted because black people typically have broad noses and you don't even with black artists you still don't see that a lot that they draw broad noses which I don't think that this nose is particularly broad but I didn't want to make it look any smaller than and that's what my shading was in it. I realized when I went back and looked at the footage of this that I drew the lighting completely wrong around both of the eyes. Like, I have no idea what the heck I was thinking, but it's too late now. What's done is done. I'm not going back. <laughs> There's no going back. It's done now. <laughs> um, so I erased the shading around the nose maybe three or four times to try and get it right because I wasn't I really wasn't okay with it looking that small you know I wanted it to look <laughs> nice and plump like the tomato I wanted it to look nicer I wanted it to look bigger you know because it just kept looking really really tiny to me and I was just like that's not what I'm going for here um I really do like uh, the lighting. I don't like necessarily like the shading that I did because I don't think I did a particularly good job on the shading. But you know, I like the lighting that I did. Um, I had to use reference for this because like I just was not getting it through my head which parts the light was supposed to hit and which parts was supposed to be in shadow. It like there was like a disconnect somewhere and it just wasn't I wasn't getting it um there are a couple times in this uh drawing that I changed the skin color because it just wasn't looking all that great with that exaggerated lighting with the really really bright it just wasn't looking all that great um so I changed the color of the skin a couple times but I didn't want the skin to be too light because in the original she is a bit darker she's a little not dark, but darker than she ended up being here, which is unfortunate, but I couldn't quite get the skin tone that I wanted to go with the uh, light. Um, I really like the way it looks with just the light. I, I, I end up really liking that lately with just light, which is weird. Because then it looks like it has dimension to the face, but then there's no shadow, and it's just like when there's shadow, there's light, so there should be shadow here. But I really do like the way it looks with just the light. I don't know, it's pretty cool, I think. Um, the reason I went with such a dramatic light is because in the original picture, that was what I was trying to, you know, venture out of my comfort zone, do dramatic light. So I went with that again here to try and do some dramatic light. As you can see, I just completely redid the shadow because, like I said before, it just was not looking how I needed it and wanted it to look. Um, well, you know. I mean, so, so it was hot. And it was, again, at that little middle stage. It's like the line I had, that little middle stage where it was just looking kind of, uh, the coloring has that little middle stage as well, and it was just not coming together for me. Like, I, I don't know what was going on. Like, it was just a disconnect with this, so I struggled a lot with this picture, actually. Trying to get the shading to look how I needed it to look, and not make her face look flat, or to not... Um change her features too much from the original line art. They did end up changing slightly when I started adding the darker shades, but 
you know, I'll get better with practice. I don't typically do dramatic shading either, so that was also a pretty tough one for me to wrap my head around. As you can see, there's like more than half of this picture is covered in shadows. And that's not typically what I go for when I'm drawn. Which is a shame because dramatic lighting looks great, but then I am also sort of a line art type person. So I really love the thin lines and line art. I'm trying to go thinner. I don't know if I want to go thin or thick because like thick line art is like wow, but then like thin line art is like wham I'm just like I, I can't make up my mind so it just depends on the drawing you know that will make me decide whether I want thick or thin so I think that's pretty much it for now I'll come back towards the end you know talk a little bit more about it then
I was like, yeah, let's let's do some new stuff. Um, I ended up changing my mind at the last minute and took it out anyways. <laughs> Maybe I'll do something else later down the line. Because these were starting to look like fish. Like specifically they were looking like the fish from Ponyo when they like lit up and were like flying through the water and they kind of looked like water droplets but they were still fish that's what this reminded me of i'll probably do a different uh underwater picture if i ever learn how to draw water <laughs> or i might just stylize it and then use it as as an excuse so that it doesn't have to look realistic <laughs> but you know i'll get to that when i come to it um like I said, I really liked the way it was looking. I just didn't like the way it was looking with this drawing. <laughs> I was just like, it was going too far from the original concept, so I did end up scrapping it. Um, I'm going to be drawing this little background for a while, though, because I was just like, oh, it's not looking like the original. I still don't know how I got the original to look the way it did. Like, it couldn't figure it out, couldn't wrap my head around it, just like, what did I do? And I never recorded that, so I honestly do not know what the heck I did. I don't even think I was interested in recording my drawings back then, because I didn't think anybody was too interested in watching it. But I've been told that these videos are kind of relaxing to watch. So, you know, I thought that was cool. I added yellow to the edge of the blue lighting because I just needed a better transition color between the blue and the brown for the skin. It just wasn't doing it for me. Like, it was just, it was too drastic. And so I did end up adding yellow right on the edge of the blue to make it a better transition. And I think it helped, but there's still something on about this picture that I still can't quite put my finger on that just looks choppy to me if choppy is even the right word but you know it is what it is i'm not gonna go back and change it now um and that's that's just how i've been feeling about drawings lately like you do what you can do and then if you can't do it don't worry about it so that was what i was feeling here like i fiddled around with the eyes and the cheeks as you can see like, I had gotten so far from the original layer that I did not know what was going on by the time I tried to fix the eye on this part, which I shouldn't have waited that long to fix that eye. But, like, I could not figure out how I did the layering for this. Like, I, it looks simple. Like, if you can see the layers on the right side, it looks like a... It's always just, like, two layers for shadow. Like, but it just... I don't know. I feel like I was, like, drawn on the wrong layers or something like that. And it was just confusing me. I was confused more than halfway through this drawing. Like, I was confused a lot through this drawing, actually. Like, I just wasn't getting it. <laughs> but, you know, such is life. Confusion happens. I like the nose. The nose with all the shadow is really great. I feel I really want to go into another direction with this once I saw the shadow by itself I was like oh my god this could be really great if I didn't have that blue but you know it was a redraw so I couldn't change it a whole lot I might revisit this not necessarily character I wouldn't necessarily call her a character but I might revisit her Ooh, my voice just changed I might revisit her at a later date, you know, with the same concept of lighting, but like in a different position. I don't know. Maybe not like, um, direct light, maybe like light bouncing off of something else onto her face or something like that. Mm -hmm. We'll find out when we get there. I think that's all I want to say about this drawing. Ooh, the lips. The lips are always one of my favorite parts of drawing. Black people love doing the lips. The lips are so nice. I ended up giving her, like, a lip gloss look, which I didn't mean intend for the lips to look that shiny. Because I'm typically not one to do lip gloss on characters. But it looked fine. You know, I'm sure some people will like it, but it's just, it's not my thing. So, okay, well, that's all I have to say now. Well, I think I'll come back at the end to give you my final thoughts.
Okay, well that's all for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. As you can see, the drawing ended up looking very different from the line art, which I kind of hate that that typically does happen. I don't like it when I'm coloring something and I get too far from the line art, but you know, such is life. I, I feel like I say that a lot. <laughs> I don't mean to. So, um, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you want to see the drawing. Uh, and I'll try to get another drawing video out next week. I cannot make any promises because the drawing that I am currently working on was supposed to come out two weeks ago. This drawing was a little faster to get done, so that's why this one's coming out now. And then the drawing that I was working on is going to come out a lot later. I bit off a little bit more than I could chew in the hair department. <laughs> so, I guess you guys will see me when you see me. I suddenly go.